I'm proud of when I was young. You were kind of really so strong and tall, and I felt so safe with you. And then as I got older, you just, you always worked so hard. <laughs> and I appreciate it when I was in college, and all you, you were working so hard so I could go and better life for myself. And just now I, real, I realized that one thing about you is I've never seen you ever be disrespectful. And that's a very rare thing. And, <laughs> and I uh, just want you to know it's very well appreciated. Yay! Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? I didn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Thank you. Well, too. It's true. I think I'll put a little addendum on that. Speak up. We can't hear you. A little addendum. For the deaf people. <laughs> um, I know. I'm sorry. Maybe I can sit next to my brother so he can get over hearing problems. <laughs> um, nothing I've made up other basically to say what Jim said. Um, he's the greatest guy. He's always been there to help people, just like his mom did, and I guess he takes care of takes after her. And uh, he's a little ornery now that we're retired. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am too. So I'm, I just wish him a very happy birthday. I've got something here. You're 60 pounds ago for me. Wow. The only thing Jimmy ever did wrong in his life is him and Irene decided to get married on the day of the NFL championship. <laughs> but other than for that, he certainly was the right guy at the right general time. It could have been a day later. But he certainly was the right guy because nobody ever, ever created a brother-in-law and a brother who could be nicer and sweeter and more giving and kind than you. That's true. <laughs> you are truly appreciated by all of your in-laws and your and the nice, kind things you've always done for your family are just remarkable. I remember when my father, God rest his soul, decided that he wanted certain things done around his house, and you did them. And then you warned him that it wasn't going to work out, and you did them the way he said, and then it didn't work out, and you did them again. <laughs> because you, your greatest asset, and the hardest thing for you is to say no. You always yeah. say yes. But I can remember a couple of returns, but I was <laughs> <laughs> And you put up with it, and you did it well, and you did it with a big heart. And this is your reward that we love you so much for who you are and what you are. So congratulations. Another 65. Each and every one of you people out there, I mean that. Love you all so much. Thank you. 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 We love you. And if you ever wrote to Dear Abby and say, Dear Abby, what do you do when you have a friend who introduces you to another friend and that friend is an extremely jealous? Irene and I lived through many turbulent years with Sharon, but we've become very good friends. And Jim. Jim helped me a lot with my kids. I was a single mother. I met this wonderful man. And we got married and Jim and Irene has, has accepted my husband, as well as my whole family, knows them. So we're fortunate enough, we're going on a cruise with them in July of next year. We look forward to that. So, God bless, and thank you, Jim. Thank you very much.